More than 600 kindergarten students were enrolled in Shelby County Schools without being able to prove they were fully vaccinated. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining me. I'm Katina Rankin. My co-anchor is off tonight. It's especially troubling with the measles epidemic of more than 500 cases across the nation. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher spoke with a health expert about the issue, and she joins us live in Cordova tonight. Rebecca. Good evening, Katina. Well, I'm here at Chimney Rock Elementary School here in Cordova. We know that 34 students enrolled in kindergarten last year with only partial immunization records, some with no vaccine records at all. Local doctor told me today it's a major health risk affecting everyone. Tennessee law requires parents to get their children vaccinated against viruses and infections, including measles, mumps, and polio. But according to the state health department, of the 8,886 kindergarten students enrolled in Shelby County Schools last year, 503 had incomplete vaccination records and 124 had no record of immunizations at all. 48 children were exempt from vaccines for religious or medical reasons. It's Certainly those numbers have increased in recent years. Dr. Stefan Throkeld says it is a huge risk to not vaccinate for childhood infections. The last reported cases of measles in Shelby County was in 2016. But we are more at risk than before. The CDC reported more than 500 cases in 20 states. People are forgetting about how bad measles was and they're deciding, well, we won't get the measles vaccine for, for our kids. And that's putting people at more risk than they realize. Concerning numbers were reported at Doubletree Elementary School, where only 53% of kindergarten students were fully immunized. Shelby County School says many parents don't realize their children are behind on vaccinations. Thurl Kelled advises always keeping a copy of your child's immunization records on hand. It's never been easier to keep track of those sorts of things. There are apps out there uh, and, and just ways to electronically keep track. Ask your pediatrician. And Shelby County School says it's hired four compliance officers who are tasked with making sure that all students have the correct documentation and also vaccines. If you want to check out your student's school, we have a link to the state report that's on our website, localmemphis.com. Just click on the Find It section. We're live tonight in Cordova. I'm Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News. Rebecca.